if you judge my fucking video, make sure you stop on that motherfucker like when like girl. Like you only finna stop on my fucking um bitch that you hit. She hit that bitch in the head with like a I don't know, but she literally clocked that bitch with something like Girl, y'all in jail. Like, is this motherfucking orange is the new black bitch? Like, y'all mean like a girl that'll be an orange is new black? No bad. Don't y'all mean like a bitch that'll be an orange is new black? One of them hoes that have like knives and shit and be like waiting in cuts and shit, stabbing hoes. Like, yeah, she give me that like a motherfucker. Uh huh, bitch, try again. What's going on, Stan Gang? Since it's me, you're back in again with a video, bitch. Today, we are back in again with a Jocelyn Cabaret video. Calm down. I know y'all trying to. Y'all trying to run up on me and shit like, stop, girl. I know I've been slacking a little bit on the Jocelyn Capri videos, girl. All the madness of me getting my stuff together, me moving, me like, girl, my birthday, everything is done. So we'll be back to the normal schedule videos, bitch. I'm finna have my other content coming back, my reaction, my TikTok videos, my challenges, my everything. Y'all know y'all wanna go do live, big old videos still. I got all that coming, sweetie. We are very much so finna touch down on Twitch. We finna touch down on the gaming platforms. I know y'all been waiting for the gaming channel. The gaming channel is here. Now the album is done. Next step is merch line and gaming channel because I want to make sure my merch line could drop with my gaming channel because channel, I know I'm gonna do a whole like whole new branded thing for that because that's what we do we just brand you know brand we just brand brand bitch I'm a brand I'm a brand bitch I'm a brand I'm a brand bitch I'm a brand I'm a brand bitch I'm a brand so this is Jocelyn Cabaret's episode 11. We gonna go ahead and kick it off with the review video. We started off with, we got Jocelyn and Ballistic, a whole little new freaky sex scene or whatever they was trying to do. One thing about it, I will say she definitely upgraded from Stevie, ugly fucking gribbling looking ass, hit like one of them fucking mushrooms off super fucking Mario Brothers. Like, what the fuck? I mean, like, at the time, Jocelyn's style did kind of go with his style because, like, he was kind of, like, a bitch and he, like, aggressive. So it was cute. But like now that Jocelyn's like elevated and becoming like a woman and a brand, a brand bitch. She's a brand, a brand bitch. She's a brand. An intelligent man, like I really like her man. Like he, he definitely added to the show. Like, could have been like a Stevie J, like trying to like talk to the girls and like on those sneaky shit. He never gave it. Like he always on some empowerment. He always on some like trying to give the girls like the next step. Ain't into rubbing on each other and stuff and doing all this freak stuff. Like basically trying to get their little scene in for Zoo. Just get the ratings up, do what they gotta do. And then they go to Lucky and the girls in the hot sub and they naked too. So I'm like, what is this, a porno? Y'all trying to like, you know, have a couple new scenes up here before the season finale. Like y'all trying to, y'all know how to run these ratings. So now they got all the girls in the jacuzzi, kissing and all this stuff, baby bag or stuff, naked. And Lucky says she happy that she got to spend her birthday on the show and she appreciate her experience. Like, bitch, that's a raw ass birthday. Being on Jocelyn Cabaret for your birthday, like, bitch, no hoes is doing this. So why would she take away from that? Like, if I was on that for my birthday, I would be happy as hell, too. Lucky say her B-Day wishes that everybody just enjoy the moment and everybody, you know, just don't take away from their experience over some petty shit. Then they go into the next morning and Jocelyn man take her to a hotel because I guess she was stressed. And Jocelyn say this is a big deal for her and something that she wanted since she was a kid. And I'm like, girl, when you was a kid, you wanted a damn stripper's cabaret, second grade. And bitch was like, oh, I want to be a firefighter. I want to be a police officer. Oh, I want to be like a motherfucking mailman. This bitch said, oh, I want to smack bitches and shake, shake ass and stuff like that. Like she say, bitch, I want a motherfucking cabaret. I don't know what the fuck you hoes is on. All that firefighter, police dog, and bitch working at Nana Five, bitch. She said, fuck that shit. She was already in motherfucking school with the dreams. Jocelyn now says she's scared to pick and she don't want to feel bad about, you know, not picking a girl that, you know, everybody don't get to go. So she don't want to feel bad about, you know, giving somebody experience away. She said Lucky supposed to be the one who was on me because, like, you know, I've seen that Jocelyn was always, you know, on lucky ass, gave her the second opportunity so she can come back and win the money, but she be fucking up. She say Sapphire wishy washy because sometimes she do it good and other times she messed up. Um, I mean, I see it for me too because Sapphire girl, when when they did that motherfucking um final girl, we gonna talk about it when it comes. So her man give her this big pep talk and basically just make her feel a lot better for even though if a girl don't win. She's still giving her opportunity to do what she got to do. I really respect Jocelyn's man a lot. I like that he has a big mindset about himself. He not just looks, but he does a lot of stuff. And just like I like, I rap, I sing, I, I don't sing, bitch. What the fuck? Where did that come from? Bitch, I'm high still. Hi. 
<laughs> Bitch, I could sing though. Bitch, I could be a singer though. No doubt. I could give it to the girls. Love it when you want to stay. Bitch, I like people that have a mindset that's well rounded, and he is very like that. So, Jocelyn, man, if you ever want to smash, baby, let me know. Because she can't be my ass. Jocelyn, you know, hala, marita, mamaita. Bitch, I'm not them hoes. Strong though, she gonna get my ass some girl for her man. Let me not play with Jocelyn. That bitch gonna work my little ass. She gonna, but it like but it like I'm gonna give you that crazy Benji one. She ain't gonna get, they ain't thinking Jocelyn trying to like square up on you, but she gonna give you that <laughs> bitch. She gonna fuck your ass up like you a motherfucker. Puerto Rico bitch, like y'all two rabbit dolls fighting with a piece of meat, bitch. So then she's talking about Boss Tech trying to like talk to her man. Again, I just know that my bitch Boss Tech don't need to be thirsty about nobody, nigga. So what y'all gonna do is stop worrying about my bitch. Period, because Boss Tech don't need nobody, nigga. Let's talk about it. So now they go to the performance, and it's the big motherfucking day, bitch. This is the day we all been motherfucking away for. Like, my heart was being fast. Bitch, I wasn't even fucking dancing. I'm like, who the fuck finna get picked? They need to pick my bitch, motherfucking Lexi Bloom. That's the motherfucking bitch who needs to motherfucking win. She sat back, I'm bothered. She did what she had to do when it came to the dancing, and she looked bad the whole fucking time. That bitch gave you looks. Looks on looks on looks on those bitch. I was looking back at the episodes and bitch Lexi Bloom was looking good, bitch. She was giving you motherfucking look. The girls in the band doing a little pep talk or whatever, like they always saw a football game. They're like, y'all, we finna shake this ass. We finna shake this ass. We finna shake this ass. Everybody up to talk about how happy they is. And Sapphire tell the girl that she happy she can bring them together. And Miss Natural doing a video. And she put everybody in it, including them. Like, she like, you know, where you at, yummy? Where you at, yummy? Mind you, bitch. Why yummy run up on her? Girl, we're not supposed to talk about this because it comes at the end, but why are you? Fuck was she wrong? Okay, we go back. We go back to the book. But anyway, coming into the performance place and Jocelyn telling them how the fuck to get shit set up. One thing about Jocelyn is she is running her show. There is no who is this, who's the boss of this, who's girl. Jocelyn is that girl. She is getting this shit together. She's telling bitches to move shit. Yeah, put this right here. I want this right here. This has gonna be. I'm coming out of this, this, and this. You need to be ready for this. this. That's the boss bitch. I fuck with it. I just feel like if Nelly was gonna be the boss bitch on her show, she should just ran the shit instead of like halfway running it, but then really running it behind the scenes, but like halfway running like. But she should have had them bitches in there like this is the motherfucking Natalie show, and I'm casting all these bitches. Like what's up? Literally, I would enjoy watching that. No doubt. So now that she practiced her dance, and Jocelyn man say how proud he is to her and how you know she wanted this for a long time. I just really love his energy. Like, babe, like, uh, like if you wanna be my lover. You gotta get some of the air thick. Jocelyn. Like, just call me, beat me if you wanna reach me. <laughs> so now they all standing up and shit, and they all look nervous as fuck. Like, all them bitches, like, they finna throw the fuck up. Sapphire said that she happy she had got to pull the girls together, regardless of how much energy it took up out of her. She really sound like Yummy. I remember when Yummy was like, you know, this is really taking a lot of energy out of me. Like, girl, I'm trying to do what I gotta do, but I gotta take care of all you bitches. And it's like, y'all was up in Yummy ass talking about how she wasn't running it right, and she wouldn't know what she had to do, but she was saying that shit was hard, and... And that's how fire did it, girl. Sapphire said she didn't leave enough energy for herself and said she feel like she messed up more than the other girls when they run back and watch the video. Um, Sapphire girl, I feel like if you finna make this your excuse for, you know, mess up, then you can just do that. But girl, you keep doing it over and over and keep making it, like, bringing it to our attention is making it less believable. Because, like, if, if you working with other people to teach them a dance, why would you not get the dance? better than everybody else. Bitch, you the one teaching everybody. I don't understand. So you saying that you tired from teaching everybody to dance regardless if you tired, bitch, it should be muscle memory. Muscle memory like a motherfucker. You should hear the song and your shit should be like, doom, cat, doom. You done did it so many times. So, I mean, everybody don't work the same, but a bitch like me, bitch, I picks up. Season two, what's up? Body going crazy, baby. I'm dripping wet. So then that's when um, Sapphire started crying, and then Boss Day started crying too, and said like, "We really put our all into this, like regardless of ups and downs. Like this is the end. Like it was really an emotional moment, like the end of the back was like everybody go home. I was like, no, but this my bitch. It's like, oh my god. So Young said she don't feel like her best man right now because. She feel like she want to do good because she thinking about a lot of stuff. Now that bitch is all laying up together. Lexi Blow say she feel like she worked really hard and stayed out of the mess and focused on what she want to do so she want to win. I feel like if anybody deserves to win, Lexi Bloom needs to be the girl that win. I feel like the baddest bitch, 
she stayed classy and she looks cute. I mean, Big Lex can win too. I mean, I wouldn't be mad if Big Lex win, but I feel like ideally, dancing wise, Lexi Bloom do be eating them hoes up. Like, she eats a bitch. Like, when she moves, bitch, you be like mesmerized. Like, that's a badass bitch. Miss Natural say she um a trained dancer, so she feeling confident because she think like you know nobody here is really like as good as a dancer as her. Then Jocelyn walk in, bitch, and the girls look motherfucking shook, bitch. Like everybody look like they seen a motherfucking ghost. So now she say that the girls look good and they gotta make this fast because like everybody outside waiting on them. Girls and she put them fours and fours. Yummy say that the drama with Miss Natural is like messing up her hair still. I don't understand why Yummy keeps saying that the drama with Miss Natural is messing her head up when bitch you the one who like made the fucking drama because you started doing a whole bunch of sneaky shit first you just bust her out and called out your fucking friend in front of everybody threw her on the bus then you fucking throw jocelyn on the bus like bitch what the fuck like you're the one who's causing the drama and now you're stressed about drama that you caused i don't get it four up is the lucky lexi blow sapphire and chanel sapphire um in the middle of her motherfucking twerking part this bitch goes and looks the whole wrong other motherfucking way I mean, I just feel like it probably might be her ass shots going her, to her brain or something. It's like fucking up her movement or something because, girl, she be already sweating before they start dancing. So, I don't know what stuff I got going on, but, girl, it's, it's not your time. I definitely feel like she not going to get the money. I'm probably like, she always got a motherfucking excuse every fucking time. Like, girl, shut the fuck up. Shit about you being a big boss, bitch. You got to walk in that shit. I got on here talking about shit, talking about bitches' outfits and talking about how bitches look a mess. But you go to my Instagram, I'm that bitch. No, that so bitch. Every outfit on my Instagram is eats, bitch, because I don't play them games. If I'm gonna talk that big boss shit, I'm walking that big boss shit, and that's what you gotta do, sweetie. So Chanel wins, and they say she did the best out of everybody. Next four was Miss Natural, Big Lex, Yummy, and Boss Tag. And then Big Lex, like, of course I get the group with the lame bitch. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck if this bitch don't win. This bitch won. I'm sorry, I went and found that bitch Instagram. Bitch, I'm following her every post, bitch. I'm right under it. That's my bitch. I love Big Lex and Boss Tech. So, Boss Tech was really fucking up like a motherfucker. Like, they wasn't really giving her a lot of clips, but y'all could clearly see this bitch was off motherfucking key. She was going around the motherfucking way. She just looked a mess. The bitch was probably drunk as hell. She looked drunk as hell when <laughs> she looked drunk as hell when they did it the first time, and she was just like, I'm up here just taking my losses. Like, they over there, and we over here. Like, she looked drunk as fuck right there, too. So, it's like, girl, you never gonna stop drinking. If you're not gonna stop drinking, that's just a part of your personality. You just a drunk girl. Period. It, I mean, shit, I don't feel like you got a problem. I ain't got a problem. You ain't got a problem. Ain't no problem. Miss, they pick Miss Natural as the best, and Jocelyn say that um, her, I guess her and Chanel was the best, too. I mean, I was like, okay, shit, I didn't really get to, like, see them, see them, but I guess. They put the girls back, and they all think about, like, who gonna make the cut and who not, and then they bring them back, and now Jocelyn bring out Yummy and Miss Natural, and then it's, like, the end of the episode. Why the fuck did motherfucking Youngy run up on Miss Natural? I cannot believe this girl. This bitch went crazy. Like, this bitch went the fuck. She went bananas, girl. And she was like, none of you bitches can handle me. None of you bitch. I was like, this look crazy ass bitch. I told you this bitch is orphan. I told y'all since the motherfucking beginning, this little bitch is the motherfucking orphan girl. And what the orphan girl do? That bitch took her fucking teeth out and bitch, that bitch start going fucking crazy. Bitch, I predict the future. I am the Hama Shama Na Na Na, bitch. That's it for today's video. I hope y'all really enjoyed it, y'all. It's almost the season finale of Justin Cabaret. I know the reunion is coming up. I will not be late on no episodes of the reunion. I promise y'all, every day when it come out, I will have a review. Either the day of or the next day. This is my promise to y'all because I know y'all been motherfucking waiting. I know y'all been supporting my album like a motherfucker. I really appreciate everybody that streamed it. Everybody that's still streaming it. Everybody that's commenting on it on, it on YouTube. Thank y'all so motherfucking much. I put a lot of work into really getting the response that I wanted it to. Like, I don't feel like I wasted my money or like a bitch that I was just like, you know, just going in the studio just for nothing. Like, bitch, y'all was bopping my shit. Y'all playing my shit even after the release date. Like, a bitch is getting streams, bitch. Like, streams like i'm actually like might get my first coin off off music like my first really official coin off because this is really going to itunes and really going to spotify and really like check up for my album so thank y'all so much continue if y'all haven't listened to it yet it's probably gonna be a link that pop up at some point um bottom up social media is my facebook my snapchat my twitter my instagram my everything bitches go click on something if you enjoyed this motherfucking video make sure you stop on that motherfucking like button like girl like you don't be finna stop on my fucking um business that you hear she hit that bitch in the head with like a I don't know, but she literally clocked that bitch with something like, girl, y'all in jail? Like, is this motherfucking orange is the new black bitch? Like, y'all look like a girl that'll be orange is the new black, no bad. 
Don't you like a bitch that'll be on Orange is New Black? One of them hoes that have like knives and shit and be like waiting in cuts and shit, stabbing hoes. Like, yeah, she give me that like a motherfucker. And that's same motherfucking video and same game since we out. The finale, the reunions, I will be there. Don't play. Bitch, we out. Ah!